Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host, Iria Aysian, and this is the show where you send in your questions and with the help of my lovely guests, we give you tips and advice. We're not experts, but remember, two heads are better than one, or in this case, three. Today we're going to be talking about fashion styling and image making and I'm so excited for the two guests that I have with me. So I have Madame Modish who is a style consultant at Fierce and Modish. Welcome to the show. There's a lot of people out there that are very passionate about getting into the industry. So a few questions have been sent in today. So I hope you guys are ready to help me sure. answer some sure. of these questions because I'm yeah. no fashion expert. So <laughs> let's, let's hear our first question for the day from the board. I want to be a creative stylist in Nigeria, but I'm finding it very hard getting recognized in the industry. Everyone wants to go for big names. I know most of them have impressive portfolios and influence, but I want to be given a chance. Any advice? So, very common, a lot of people feel like everybody has their favorite stylist or even with makeup and whatever it is, you know, people just feel like it's harder for newbies to break in. So what advice would you give this person? Starting with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so whoever you are out there, I feel like you need to pay your dues. So be ready to assist on sets. Um, I assisted on sets for about six months when I started my company in 2013. I worked on you know numerous projects with people as assistant stylists, and I would see that you know the clients would come to me in secret and tell me to give them their numbers. Now. I wasn't proud of the fact that you know they, they had left my bosses who hired me and then came to me but I feel like every client or a potential client would know when you know there's fire they in you, no talent. matter who you are or you know because I, I, I've never been a socialite or a party going person or anything so it's always my work oh I saw this somewhere and I you know I read it and I realized it was you so be ready to pay your dues be ready to assist we're very we're very especially the 90s kids they're very you know I don't want to learn I don't want to it, I can't do it I'm myself. a 90s kid that's <laughs> kind of, I find that offensive <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean on, yeah like there's on, some I'm you know kidding. there's some young people who feel that like feel they don't need yeah. Yeah. yeah but trust me you need to learn you need to I'm still learning under people you know I follow the big names internationally and I watch what they do I see what they talk about so be ready to pay your dues assist be behind the scenes for now to learn soaking everything like a sponge on the set everything and then you know one year two years you become a big gun as well hopefully you're good at what you do as well because it's not enough to have the attitude if you don't have the skill you know they won't call you back but the attitude and the skill you're good true okay Fabulous. Um, okay for me I where do I start from you like um, Madam Modish said, you need to pay your dues, and it is very, very important. I started out as an intern. I've been an intern, been mm -hmm. an assistant. I interned during the rise, the first the rise Fashion Week in Nigeria. Wow! And it was. You won't take it as demeaning, but you just had to do it if you really wanted. <laughs> no, it's the truth. I know. People like, oh, why are you doing this? But man, there's always a bigger picture, and you always need to keep yourself focused on the bigger picture. But mm -hmm. the millennial kids. Like Madam Modi said, they just want to have it like overnight. 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 I started 2000 and overnight. 2010. I didn't have a breakthrough until. Oh my God! So she said before me. 2010. <laughs> I didn't have a breakthrough until 2016. Six wow. years of sweat, hard work, being kicked aside, and I'm thankful for where I am today. I'm definitely not where I want to be, but I'm yeah. thankful for where I am today. So you need to go through that process. It's mm -hmm. a process. Find a stylist to admire their aesthetic, mm -hmm. intern with them. As, as as time goes on, you rise with them. Mm -hmm. And then as she said, if people see what if people are really inspired by what you do personally, definitely they'll reach out to you. So it's a process. Wow. And you can't skip that process. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you'll crash. I completely agree. So guys, wow, you've heard from some of the best players in the industry. I definitely agree with what you guys have said. The only thing that I'll add to it is, you know assisting and um assisting and just basically following yes. what people are doing paying your dues is very important and there's something else i've realized is there are different roads in a market right so another thing you can do is if people are not booking you for jobs i mean you can find a friend that you're close to and maybe style that person mm -hmm. or reach out yes. to somebody that mm -hmm. you want to use as a yes. muse. Mm -hmm. Now, if that person is constantly being styled by you and maybe it catches traction because a lot of people are using social media this day, these days to cheat the, yes. the what do you call it, the First, system. Mm -hmm. Exactly. True. So if you're really good at what you do, I think that it will definitely pick up traction. Mm -hmm.